Blessings and welcome forward to Reasonings right here at the Trail Life. I'm your host, Jerome Sage Butler. I want to give thanks for all the wonderful people out there. But sometimes I must say, the most wonderful people, we are going through some very you know, terrible experiences. So we just want to send love, light, and healing mercies out to the people who are affected currently by Hurricane Herma. That's going through the Caribbean and is heading for the United States of America via Florida, right? We want to send condolences to the families who lost someone in Hurricane Harvey um, over the weekend in Houston, Texas, and Corpus Christi. Just, you know, it's such a painful event, you know. Some say natural disasters, but man is adding to these natural disasters. Our collective wrongs is adding up to these disasters, and it weighs on the soul very much. It weighs on the psychic, weighs on the emotions not just because of the loss of lives or the destruction of property but because the cosmos the patterns of the weather in the elemental fury is so angry at us it's so angry because we are angry so it leads me to talk about my topic today which is talking about cosmic law the law of karmic balance your karma what you send out returns to you. What you send out returns to you through the portals of the heart, the mind, and your physical experiences. How it is you're operating? How is it your thought processes operates your world, your cosmos? The karmic, the cosmic law of cause and effect is ethereally in balance it is never out of balance so so a man think it so is he so a woman think it so is she the karmic law of wholesome balance is out of order human beings have gotten so used to satisfying their personal needs and ambitions they have forgotten the repercussions and the cosmic effects of their action. Detach, deconstructed human beings, disempowered from the true virtues are acting outside karmic, cosmic law. They see these tumultuous things returning to them and is asking themselves, but what is the cause of it all? The cause of it all are the thoughts collectively the masses have been holding of visceralness, of viciousness, of hatred, racism, jealousy, self-hatred are amalgamations of the most negative thought patterns, processes made into behavior, policies, cultures and attitudes. The cosmos is pervaded with negativity. It is overburdened with the egocentric, shego-driven actions of the males and females on the plane. Everyone wants the perfect job, but has no integrity in how it is they work. Everyone wants a break in life, but where is the true equanimity in life? What you do to your fellow humans, you do to yourself. These are more than philosophies, my people. These are more than religious instructions. They are cosmic, karmic, spiritual laws. Laws that can never be moved, removed, or changed. They are eternal. They are the very structures the Creator set in place for there to be perpetuity in infinitum when karmic, cosmic, spiritual law is out of balance, we have a rise in natural disaster. When the natural moral tactitude of masses of human beings decline because of the self-driven pursuits towards self-fulfillment. This materially overdriven, overstimulated age is causing continuous contravenience 
of the cosmic laws. The laws of nature are far been broken by man, woman, and child. We have taught each other this unholy activity. We are endangering the lives of our future, of the future generations, if we continue to expose them to improper practices, from improper speech to improper behavior, to improper activities in the regional and in the global scale. There are global philosophies of division outside of cosmic law. Racism is an imbalance in the cosmic law. Many generations of suffering. There's whole lots of religious wars and persecution based upon the self-moralizing principle of these egotistical clerics and these grand religious characters of which I'm none. Karmic law, cosmic law, spiritual law, the laws of nature have been far too long contravened by man. The repercussions are upon us. Look around you. You can see the depletion in the ecology. The wholesome nature of the cosmos is slowly deteriorating as the moral virtues in man decline. His actions in nature reveal it. His actions towards each other her actions towards her fellow humans reveal it. Careless, uncaring, morally decrepit behaviors, filling activities, they are, the they are the aggrandizement of fun, of pleasure. Pleasure and fun, true joy, has left the cosmic hole where it is a vibration that resonates. Happy souls communicating to other happy souls, attracting other happy souls, healing unhappy souls. Now the unhappy souls are the masses of the souls about. The cosmos is hurtful. It is dense, it is tense. It is pain body exploding. Karmic, cosmic, natural, spiritual law has to return to balance. Start with proper thinking, proper speech, proper eating, proper behavior, proper activities in aligned perception. Find the core of things, find the unity of things. Seek to go beyond the immediacy of your conditions. Many say they want the perfect loving mate, the perfect loving experience, but in the karmic, cosmic law, you don't just attract what you need, what you desire, you attract but what you are. You attract exactly what you are. You're in resonation with exactly how you are. Improve your ways of being through your moral virtues and tactitude. Have more truly clairvoyant, honest, virtuous activities as your way of expression and being. Be helpful, be kind, be forgiving. Activate the karmic law, activate the cosmic law. The law of cause and effect. What you hold in your heart, your hearts will manifest. We speak it, we engender it in our breath. Our activities profess the nature of our emotions and our thinking. Where is your emotional scale today? Where is your virtuous scale today? Where are you in the balance of the cosmic law? Are your scales out of balance? You need to balance your scales. You need to center perceptivity to be just, kind, respectful, and genuine. You need to destroy tenets of selfishness, jealousy. The racist way of being has to be destroyed. New creatures in Christ, new creatures in righteousness. 
the cosmic law, the karmic law of balance must be upheld. The disasters in our living environment bear testament to the ill misaligned thinking in mass global scale. Planet heart is out of balance. The people perish for a lack of knowledge. Wild, crazed, unconscionable thoughts running rampant within the psyche, within the behavior. When the mind and the spirit is so blackened, darkened, decrepit, lost, morbid, the activities are likened unto the same. Shameful, but yet there's a generation wallowing in the shame. The world is burning while the souls are playing the freak. Freaking into altered states, altered perceptions, again contravening cosmic law. Return to wholesomeness. Return to wholeness. Start with yourself. Be honest be truthful, be genuine, be gentle, be tolerant, forgiving, be tranquil, find that in you, resonate it within your family, your immediate environment, within your nation, within your region, within your culture, within your race, class, creed and tongue, within your kindred and your kindred spirits. Start with you continue on into everything allow the cosmic the karmic the spiritual law the natural law of balance to become your life your activity our lives our activities then there will be harmony within the natural within the weather patterns within the psychological behaviors of human beings Temperance will truly be found, tolerance and love will truly be found. Forgiveness, healing will be everywhere. Love will be every moment experienced. Forward in the affirmative, forward in the positive. Return to the positive side of karmic law, of cosmic balance. Remember that you are a beautiful gift to yourself and to your environment and to those who occupy the environment. Shape yourself, shift yourself back into your true nature, observing karmic, cosmic, spiritual, natural law, the godly law of balance, the godly law of creation. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. Loving, superb blessings you are. Continue.